when it comes to using batik you have a pot of wax um, and this is plugged in and it's melting the wax as we speak um, you have one of these which is called a tajanting tool and it holds the wax in and as you can see it then distributes it out of sort of the spout let's say of it now it's quite a skill to do this effectively and you can see that slowly the wax starts then drying up um, and sort of solidifies in the spout now I'm going to show you this on poly cotton um, but you also can use this on other fabrics so first of all you need to be very aware that this is very hot so if you're touching anything that's metal on this it's going to be hot okay so you need to really watch out for that obviously the wax inside the tool is also going to be hot as well so when you are doing this you don't need loads and loads and what you need to do is carefully take it across to where you're going to start I usually wipe the bottom just to make sure it's as it needs to be now it does run out quite fast so you need to work super quickly to produce your design so it's more of like a continuous line drawing to work hard to try and prevent drips and try and keep it as it needs to be okay then you need to wait for this to dry so on this one I'll just peel it off we do it on this board just so it prevents it getting on the table so there's my design I'm waiting for it to dry and then I'm either dipping it in dye or adding ink on top of it um, to really think about the colors and the idea is that these parts where the wax is going to stay white whereas the other parts are then going to change colour and I'll show you an example of that in a minute. You can do something very similar with the calico but you need to sort of work a little bit harder to make sure it's fully submerged in the fabric. So let me show you this one. So this one's quite good and it's going right through the fabric and it's all about the angle in which you hold this like so now another thing that you can do with this is so that this one I did earlier is if you're very very careful you can dip part into the wax if you're very quick but obviously then don't hold on to that end and what works quite well is when that dries then cracking it um, and you can literally screw it up and then bits that uh, have been screwed up will end up getting bits of dye in and I'll show you an example of that in a minute you can experiment with different kinds of dyes and things like that um, to really show your experimentation and your development um, to meet those assessment objectives. We have got different tools for this as well. So we've got a smaller tool here. Works just in the same way, but it comes out with a thinner point. Okay. So think about that when we're completing this and what would be most suited to what you're trying to do. The good thing about this one is it doesn't drip so much from the bottom as the other ones.
So with this one, I'll talk about crunching up. What I would do for that is when it's cool, I would squeeze it literally like this. And can you see that then it's them making patterns on here? Um, and that really will end up when we add it to ink, the ink will get into the bits where they're cracked um, and create quite an interesting effect, which is really quite good for backgrounds and things like that. 